Greetings, it is I, the Great One Himself, Cynical Libertarian Society, CYNLIBSOC.com on the internet. This time I remember to push the fucking record button before I started recording this version, this edition of the Anarchy Moment. Yes, I have had two beers. I'm not drunk, but I am pissed off and I've had two beers. You know what I'm fucking sick of? I'm sick of a lot of things. Hold on. You adjust the fucking microphone. I am sick of a whole lot of fucking things. But you know what I'm really sick of? I am sick of stupid people. I am going, well, I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell you about it, because it, but I have a lot. Oh my God. I just read four issues of L Magazine. I have pulled some shit out of there that I'm going to talk about. Holy fuck. The justifications for fat women to be fat. It just, the way fat women justify their fatness. It, it's just never fucking ends. And then there's some great e gene things where women are just stupider than shit. And I don't mean to rag on women. It's not all about women. But I'm also dealing with a question on another blog that I write that has nothing to do with the Cynical Libertarian Society where some fucking cunt wants to cut off part of her baby's cock, otherwise known as circumcision. And it's just, God damn it. And then there's stupid people. I am fucking surrounded by stupid people. I try not to be a statist. I try. I try really hard not to be a statist. But God damn it, I'm not going to fucking lie to you. If I could put all the stupid people in concentration camps and gas them and kill them and throw them into massive unmarked graves, I would do it. I am so fucking sick. People ask, well, do you think it's okay? Do you think circumcision is okay? Do you think it's okay for me to cut off part of my own baby's cock? Do you, do you think that's okay? I don't know. Gosh, what do you think? Do you own your fucking baby's body? Is it his body or is it yours? I don't know. This is really fucking complicated, isn't it? Gosh, I don't know. Maybe you're a stupid bitch. And maybe you should get an abortion because any child that's born unto you is going to have a fucked up life because you're a dumb goddamn bitch. And you don't understand that you don't own your son's body because you're a dumb fucking bitch. I don't know. It's just a thought. It's just a thought. I, I still, you know, I'm not kidding. I really do. Because everyone's a little bit statist. That's a hint for what's coming in the future. Everyone is a little bit statist. Even the most ANCAP person out there is a little bit statist. All of us, all of us ANCAPs, I guarantee you if you dig deep enough, every ANCAP is a little bit statist. If we could all just pass one law Right, we just need one more law, don't we? And we're just three laws away from her perfect society. If we could just pass one more law, oh my goodness. If I could pass, if I could pass one law, if I could do it, if I were the fucking dictator of the world, and I could pass one law, my one law would be this. Any woman who gets pregnant and is not married and does not have at least $500,000 in the bank should be forced to get an abortion. Because I am so fucking sick. So fucking sick. I'm so fucking sick. of having to fucking support other people's children. Not only does this bitch, not only does this fucking cunt want to cut off part of her own son's cock, but she wants to do it because, wait for it, wait for it, because she's afraid he might not be socially accepted. Not because he might not be socially accepted because, of course, I know whenever I meet somebody, like I'm walking down the street or let's say I go to a business networking event and I walk in there, I'm like, hey, what's up, dogs? And I, yeah, I'm the great one. What's up? What's up? And then the fr I always say, so, man, are you circumcised? Let's get, pull out your dick, man. Let me see your cock. Let me see if that fucker's circumcised or not. Oh, shit. You're not circumcised, dude. I am totally ostracizing you. Okay. 
she is so fucking delusional that it, this is, it, it's not, and it's not even her concern. It's because she wants to circumcise the kid because she's afraid that other people might not approve of him if he's not circumcised. Not because other people want to approve of him because he's not circumcised. No, no, no. She wants this because she's afraid. And this is, this is what I'm going to talk about in the upcoming edition of Stating the Obvious. I'm still putting notes together. I'm telling you, it's going to be fucking brilliant. It's going to be one of the greatest episodes of Stating the Obvious that I have ever produced. I am going to talk about this very topic, about how our society, about how statism is driven by fear. And this is, all, this is going to start off based on a question that one of my YouTube viewers asked me where he says he disagrees because he thinks fear, yada, yada, yada. And so I'm going to explain why what he says is actually correct. And it's simply a fact of he and I are looking, I'm assuming it's a he, I don't know for a fact, it could be a she. I, I hope it's a she. I would like to think that all of the listeners to my podcast are really cute girls that play volleyball. That would fucking make me just jack off with my cock which may or may not be circumcised. I'm not going to tell you if my cock has fucking been cut or not because you might ostracize me. And I'm going to talk about fear and definitions of fear and why and how I believe our society and statism is driven by fear. And I know in the past I've said I'm going to do a lot of things I never get around doing them. God damn it, this is going to happen. Trust me, it is going to be. Oh my God, I'm going to tout this episode. Tout? Is that a real world? Real world. Real world. I can't talk. I have so much to fucking do right now. I'm just like overloaded. Seriously, I got the blogging. I got theater gigs going on. I am like fucking just dying under the workload right now. But it's great. It's, it's good. It's fucking happy because I am the fucking great one himself. And you can suck my cock, whether it's circumcised or not. All of you fucking feminazis out there who love cutting off little boys' cocks, fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Anyhow, this upcoming edition of Staying Up is going to be great. I got some other stuff in the works. Everyone's a little bit statist. It, it's coming. And uh, I said coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beavis, we're going to get laid. Yeah. Yeah. It's cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, sorry. My head. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah, I am Cornholio. All right, and oh, I watched New Order. What the hell is the name of that DVD? New Order. It was a New Order in concert, 316, 318, something like that. Anyway, it's awesome. New Order is great. Of course, Bernard continues to prove that white boys can't dance, but it's okay because it's New Order. And if you don't know who the band New Order is, then I feel sorry for you. They're fucking awesome. All right, anyway, what else? Stupid people. Stupid people. God damn it, I'm fucking surrounded by stupid people. All right. And, <laughs> God damn it. This is, this is the anarchy moment for the day. You know, the other thing, this other blog, I'm debating right now in my mind, because this other blog is a blog that is written for stupid people. One of the things about the podcast here at Cynical Libertarian Society is that I do not podcast for stupid people. I do not podcast for people with short attention spans. As you know, my... The fuck is my water bottle? There it is. The typical episode of Stating the Obvious is 52 minutes long. Sometimes I go over. Sometimes a episode may be two, three, four, five, six parts. I, of course, back in the day, did the one I'm still proud of, the multi, like, what, 11 part? I think it is. I could be wrong. 7, 9, 11, something, part where I fucking destroyed utilitarianism. And of course, there is the ongoing series about the pile on my floor, and then there's the upcoming ongoing series where I'm going to read a bunch of shit from the CSU Collegian. I've added even more to that pile. Oh my God, it's just going to fucking go on forever. It's going to be days of podcasting, of me just ripping the medicated generation a new asshole just ripping their fucking heads off and shitting down their necks and then slapping them in the face because they are so... F We're the smartest generation ever. Really? Then why are you all on medication for your personalities and why are you so fucking stupid? Shut up. Shut the fuck up. All of you under the age of 30, I just shut the fuck up. Just shut the 
fuck up. You're so goddamn stupid you can't even pour piss out of a boot with the instructions written on bottom and a hole drilled in it. All right? Shut the fuck up. Anyway, as you know, I do not podcast for stupid people. My fucking podcast require you to be able to listen to the whole fucking thing and to be able to think, right? And this, this other blog I write at, it's a blog that is geared towards stupid people. You know, everything has to be written in a third grade level. You got to have a lot of pictures because stupid people can't read a blog post without pictures. It's got to be between 800 and 1,000 words because Google wants at least 800 words, which is what the person who runs the blog says. And it can't be more than 1,000 because nobody will read more than 1,000 words. And they won't. This is true. I've had lots of people tell me, oh, I can't read what you write. It's too long. It's like, no, 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 no. No, 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 uh-uh, no. What I write is not too long. You are too stupid. You seriously can't read a more than a thousand fucking words. And you, will, and you don't understand why you have a degree in liberal arts and why you work in a fucking coffee shop as a barista. Well, I know. I know exactly why you're a fucking loser with a liberal arts degree who can't read more than a thousand words. It's because you're fucking stupid.